Hello everybody, welcome on back to another gem editor video. This one's going to be a little more advanced, but it is a concept that once you have down, you can apply to a lot of different scenarios no matter what you're doing in the editor. So today we're going to do reinforcements based off of a zone script, which if that doesn't make sense, then it certainly will in a few seconds. For all intents and purposes, all the units placed right now don't have anything done, no triggers, no tags. I just crewed the vehicles to make the video a little quicker. But the premise of today is going to be we want this Abrams to come in as a reinforcement once, only once, all of the U.S. soldiers defending this position have died. Then the Abrams will come in. So you can change this, obviously, and make it your own by either having once a vehicle destroys, infantry comes in, or once infantry dies, more infantry comes in, or vice versa. Any combination that you like is pretty much possible with this as long as you change it to fit your needs. But nonetheless, we're going to get right started. So, since I'm going to be having all of the infantry dead, all of the U.S. soldiers need to be dead before this Abrams comes in, all of my infantry need to have a tag. So I will give them the same tag. By the way, I'm just holding shift to select each of these individual units. You can always double check that with this number right here where it says 8. So we know we've got 8 infantry and it says 8 selected, so we're good. You can name them whatever we want. I'm just going to name them infantry. Now... Our Abrams that we will be calling in also is going to be needing a tag, obviously. I'm just going to name it Tank. And now we're also going to give this a hidden tag. And a hidden tag, what that does is anything with a hidden tag, as soon as you hit the Start button, will be invisible. And so this Abrams will be invisible until I call it in with some sort of command, whether it be an actor to waypoint is probably the most common way you will call that in, or with a reinforcement menu or whatnot, but more videos will cover that in greater detail down the road but keep in mind vehicles infantry even props if you give them the tag hidden will be invisible as soon as you click start so next is going to be the actual zone so once you're in f3 you can come down to zone and then you can use a circle or a poly the only difference is just the size one's a circle one's a polygon pretty straightforward i'm gonna use a polygon doesn't matter what you name this as long as you know what the name is of it so Polygons can be changed the same way circles can, except you adjust the corners specifically to match your needs. It doesn't exactly matter specifically what size this is, as long as you know the units inside of it are the ones that you need and nothing else. So, now that I have all these guys inside this zone, let's set up the trigger. Actually, let's get the waypoint real quick just to make it easier on myself. So I'm going to have the Abram spawn in right off the edge of the map. There we go. And then he will come in right there. Perfect. I'll just make sure it's on hold. Okay. Now let's get into the trigger. It doesn't matter what you name it, of course. As always, I'll just go with start. Keeps it easier on myself. Now we're going to have to give it a condition. A condition, all this means is that whatever conditions you have in this box, and I know it looks a little scary right now if you've never seen it before, whatever condition you have set up in this box has to be fulfilled before the command below it is actually executed. Because the way triggers work in the gem engine is that if you have no condition, whatever command you have in a trigger will be executed right away. Unless you have, I guess, a delay in front of it. But either way, technically that command is still being executed. But if you have a condition, then that condition or conditions must all be filled before the commands can be set. So our goal is to set the condition being all these units need to be dead before this Abrams comes in. So here's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna right click, go to entities because our condition is dealing with the entities that happen to be these soldiers. We're gonna left click on that. Now the tag of the entity is going to be infantry. That's what we named them. They're inside the zone called defense underscore zone. We're gonna want them to be dead and we want there to be greater than or equal to eight. So that just means there has to be at least be eight units with the tag infantry inside the zone, defense zone, and they all have to be dead for whatever command to execute. You can just do equal to, but it's normally safe just to go with greater than or equal to in case you're dealing with a lot of units. It makes it easier. I use it out of habit, but of course you can adjust it to your needs. And also you could do less than eight. Maybe you only want three of them dead before reinforcements come or five. It's really up to you. But just make sure you have the number right, because if you have too many, let's say I put nine here, only eight units exist. So obviously this reinforcement is never going to come if only eight units are here and it's expecting nine to fulfill the condition. But moving on, now is the easy part. All we need is our Abrams to spawn in. So now we're going to our command that will execute after this is fulfilled. We will go to our actor to waypoint. 
and our Abrams spawning in on waypoint zero. We're going to do teleport and rotate. The reason we can't do force in this instance, I know in the previous video I said you could do force or teleport or rotate, is because the Abrams has that hidden tag. So because it's not on the map, you can't force it from its current position because hypoth kind of loosely speaking, it doesn't exist. So you have to teleport it to this position, which is why we're going to use teleport and rotate. And the rotate part of that versus teleport just means it will be aligned facing whichever way the second waypoint goes. So that it doesn't have to turn and maybe start facing perpendicular to the next waypoint or whatnot. Now, if I have set this all up correctly, then we should be good to go right from there. There's nothing special about the Russian forces on this side. They're merely there just for killing the U.S. As you can see, that Abrams is gone right away, as I said, when I hit start. But we will quickly wait for the Russians to mess these guys up. I'll just move them up real quick, make this go a little quicker. As you can see, we're coming down to our last couple of soldiers inside that zone. Only one more left. Let's go ahead and maybe two more, actually. There we go. And on cue, our Abrams will spawn because those guys have died. And there you have it. That is a simple reinforcement based off of a zone script. If you got any questions, feel free to leave them down below or give recommendations for other tutorials you want to see. But without further ado, I will see you in the next one.